welcome to A Pinch of Basil. I am your wonderful and very beautiful man, and co host of this wonderful show, A Pinch of Basil. If you're joining us on Facebook, thank you so much. But don't forget, you can call us in at 844-790-8255. Again, that's 844-790-8255. Uh, besides our live stream on Facebook, you can listen online at americamatters.us. That's americamatters.us. And on the TuneIn app from your phone or tablet, just search America Matters. And uh, if you see, if you need a little bit more, you'll see a pinch of basil. Go right there. If you're not listening or watching us, well, you know, that's your problem. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm here with my wonderful and very beautiful uh, co host, Janice Hermson. And of course, we couldn't do this without our awesome engineer, Craig Moss. How are you both doing today? Well, I'm doing pretty good, but Jan's having some technical malfunctions. <laughs> good Is thing. She really? <laughs> yeah, good thing she wasn't on <laughs> camera she? at the time. She knew she wasn't, she? so she grabbed. <laughs> Did you go underneath the studio benches Almost, or where? You know, yeah. some underneath the table? Yeah. You know, it's okay. <laughs> Were you Hi. watching, Basil? Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my yo, God! Yo, yo. And we 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 couldn't do with either one of these people, as you could possibly tell, folks. They are the glue that keeps this wonderful show afloat. That's right. Everyone's favorite Greek is kept afloat between Janice <laughs> and Craig. Thank God, and she's the one underneath the desk right now. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Usually, We're I'm on. running across the room, but you know, uh, today it no, was okay. it was under the it's under the table. At least it wasn't okay. for bad reasons. I, Oh, look, I, I understand. I understand these issues. We are all born with these issues. Some have more issues than I don't know, Sports Illustrated. But I'm telling you, Janice, I love you. You are the Good one thing. that Good I thing. truly love. <laughs> Lucky we're for every, that. <laughs> we're here every week on Tuesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Daylight Time. And I see how I said daylight time because um, – Craig reminded me that we're on daylight time uh -huh. right now. It's true. You know, it's I, I, how do I do it? It's right now a little after uh, 3 o'clock uh, Pacific time where you guys are at. And um, listen, folks, a lot of people don't know that uh, when we do this broadcast, we, uh, we're we doing it with Craig and, and also um, – uh, Craig and, and all. I'm looking at my phone. My phone is going off, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Craig and Janice. What are you doing? And, um, I, yeah, I, I just have to let it go. Uh, we're here, like I said, every uh, every Tuesday, 6 to 7. And Craig and, and Janice are right now in Reno, in Reno, Nevada. Reno, Nevada right now, where I am in my little secret hiding space here. And you can tell where I'm at by the beautiful decor that I have right here um it's it's the the actual furniture blanket that uh, craig teases me about <laughs> all the time and i appreciate that anyway uh we have amazing guests and topics tons of things to talk about our wonderful guest stratton leopold will be here unbelievable producer movie film producer worked in television everything um some of the films, you'll sit there and go, wow, Basil's really uh, upgrading uh, his uh, guest list. And that uh, truly is true. I am. He truly will be joining true. us via phone. Say again? Truly is true. It is truly true. And we have some other wonderful guests. Harry Basil, uh, who is a uh, like a director, a producer, has been on thing. He's handles comedy. One of the funniest cats I know, Harry Basil, who is actually uh, at one of his clubs. I'll be at one of his clubs that he actually is partners with and, and owns uh, along as, as well as books. I don't know how the hell he finds the time to do all this, but Harry Basil will be with us along with um, oh my Katarina uh, will be joining us. Uh, she is a Greek pole vaulter. I got uh, George Lucas, who happens to be the president of the AHEPA, he'll be joining us. But a lot of people are going, Basil, mother of God, how can we find you? Where will you be touring at? You know, you can get all of our tour dates right now at basillive.com. That's B-A-S-I-L-E-L-I-V-E.com. But listen to this. June 1st, I'll be at St. Demetrius Greek Festival in Wildwood, New Jersey. That's right. June 7th, I'll be at the district convention for AHEPA. Phoenix, Arizona. June 8th, I'll be at the District Convention in Portland, Oregon uh, for the AHEPA. Then June 10th through the 16th, I'll be at the Laugh Factory 
That's right. Harry Basil's place at the Laugh Factory. And I want to thank you all very, very much for having me. I'll be there at the Tropicana. So make sure you say, I want to get tickets to see Basil. Do it. And then the following week, the 18th to the 23rd, Laugh Factory at the Silver Legacy in Reno, Nevada. I'm going to be Ooh. there. Yeah. And then I'm going to be live. I'm going to be doing the show live for the studio. <laughs> From the studio. In Reno, Nevada. Not in that it's hidden right. place where you are. No, not in there with the beautiful decor. I'm not going to be with the beautiful <laughs> decor. I'm not going to. Uh, so I, I got that. Then, uh, the, listen, uh, June 24th to 30th, I'll be at the Comedy Cabana in Myrtle Beach. Then July 4th, I'll be in Chicago uh, for the National District uh, for the National Convention for AHEPA. Then July 12th to the 13th at Kazi's Comedy Club in Newport News, Virginia. Those are all my places where I'm going to be at. We got things to talk about. We have things that we need to discuss, and we will be discussing them very, very, very shortly because I got to tell you, I'm excited about having my guest on. Things that we got to talk about. Janice will be coming on with the show um, in a you know a second sec, you know, segment that we're going to be doing. Um, and uh, again, uh, we're going to take a break in, in about uh, 45 seconds. But before we do, I need to let people know that... I'm excited about this show. I'm excited about a couple of things. The people who are listening right now, I'm doing a UK tour. We already had the dates down. Bristol, London, Birmingham, and yeah, I'm going to be at Edinburgh. I'm going to be in Edinburgh, Scotland. The Greek Scots love me. They love to wear dresses like that's just the way we are. We wear our little kilts and we're going to be sexy as hell blowing a bagpipe. It's nice. So we're going to be doing that. But listen, <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy right now because I'm excited about having my guest on soon. Um, listen, we got the sponsor thing we got to do. So don't go away and come right back. You're listening to A Pinch of Basil, everyone's favorite breed. Are you shy and don't want to talk on the air? Text us your questions or comments to 775-237-2266. Now back to the show. We're back. We're back, We're Basil. back. We are. Oh, God. I didn't even know that we were back. I know. That's why I told How you. How could we back? Yo, you That's were, what look. co-hosts do. They tell you when hey, you're you know back. What? <laughs> the, 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 the technical aspects <laughs> of this show is... Uh. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. How do we keep up with it? You ask Craig Moss. <laughs> he is the reason all about that Mr. we are, are the pinnacle of our ball game. We are at the top level of what we do because, you know, I got a little bit of intro music. I got I got everything. I got you. And, you know, first of all, I, I, I just want to say um, I, welcome back. <laughs> you guys, just welcome back. Just welcome You're listening, back. You're going, what the hell's Wasn't going that, on? Wasn't that Welcome Back me... Cotter? Isn't that who it was? Right? Yes. 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 Mr. Cotter. Mr. Cotter. Mr. Cotter. Yes. Um, you... you say it so much you better than us. I. Yeah, Mr. Cotter. Um, we are back. You're listening to Basil all around the world. That's right. Pinch of Basil here. Everyone's favorite Greek. You're, you can go right to the TuneIn app and actually find us right there uh, or and find America Matters and just go choose it right there and bam, you'll see a pinch of basil. It's going to be lovely. Um, if you miss any part of the show, you'll find them under the podcast, under the site, under a pinch of basil or on Facebook on Basil Pan's page. Um, you know, we, we got to talk. First of all, Jance, how are you? You doing OK? I am doing great. Just great. You, doing, I, you know, I missed you. I. Uh, a lot of people don't know that probably Janice and I talk about probably around 10 times a week. A lot. And, yeah, we do talk a lot. And I got to be honest with you. You're one of the most pleasant people to talk with. I love talking with you because you're extremely intelligent. And and you are okay, what do you want? really. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, already you just picked up like that. What I, <laughs> what I want you to do for me. No. Um, yeah, I know, I know. There's there's yeah, a give in there, right? Yeah, oh, there's no two ways, but uh, I definitely love love being with you on the air. Uh, I've been frazzled today, as you could probably tell. I had 101 things, uh, and about 102 of them went wrong. So ah. I've been a little bit frazzled today. So, But I'm on this ball game. I'm right, I'm right here with everyone. <laughs> Those of you who are listening over in wonderful Australia, whew, boy, you guys have been busy. 
Anyway, Jazz, tell us what's happening in Australia right now. Well, over the weekend, I saw this story. We we have a publication called What's the Story? And we did a story about um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Is that Cortez. it? Cortez. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we did a story about her and the fact that, you know, she said the whole 12-year thing and the Green New Deal. And so we have three different writers that that do their um, articles for us. They don't talk to each other. It's a Democrat, a, a Republican, and an Independent. They do their stories, and they give their opinions so that we get all sides of the story, right? So then, and, and of course, it's all about climate change, and we wanted to know, you know, do we really only have 12 years? Well, then she came out with, hey, that was just a joke. Well, whatever. Either way, uh, something's going on, right? Well, Australia recently, according to Reuters, they uh, just elected a conservative um, to their parliament. And it apparently was quite a shocking election. Honestly, I don't follow Australia's politics, so I'm not real well versed in this. However, the story was so interesting because of the fact that, that the whole uh, deal on this is that they're concerned about climate change and if they get a conservative in there how are they going to address the climate change issue so that's the story but I thought and and because it was such a shock it was representative of the populist movement that's going on everywhere right well and and it it really is and I got to be honest with we you and I we've we've agreed not to really go into politics on this show uh, we both know each other's politics. We respect each other's politics. And even if we had different uh, political ideologies and or ideas, I'd still respect them because I respect the individual. Some people can't have that conversation. Right. Um, and, you know, listen, I live on the coast of North Carolina. See, I just blew the whole secret thing. <gasps> oh, anyway. no. Now yeah, everyone knows I where know. to find you. Yeah, and all the beautiful decor that goes with it. Anyway, <laughs> so... Um, the, the one thing that it concerns me, look, I think everyone is concerned about the issues with climate. Um, if we do see this, you know, the, the polar ice caps, you know, they're, they're, they're melting slowly but surely. But I think it's cyclical. I think everything has been cyclical. If you were, oh, excuse me, if you were to go ahead and, and um, see some of the, the climates of what it were like 500 years ago, and you can actually tell by the ice when they go down how much carbon was there what was going on it falls the same you know so um i guess so what's the word i'm looking at a cyclical pattern and i remember when um when vice president uh at that time uh who was running for president and lost to bush um uh what oh god why am i having a brain fart the vp uh who the one who invented the internet oh <laughs> gosh <laughs> Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Who is oh, Vice President Gore. for? I was going to say Gore. Gore. That's him. Yeah, that guy. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Gore. I respect him as a person. I respect him when he was a senator of Tennessee. Uh, but he was the one that actually, you know, started talking about, oh, my God, everything's going to hell in the handbasket. And then look what happened. It, it was all cyclical and it has been. Um, and I, I, I just don't buy the whole thing. And for her to sit there... And to bring attention to it, uh, I'm not a big fan of Cortez, um, and I don't really think she's going to wind up being a, a congressman. Well, you got to admit, somebody who doesn't know what a garbage disposal is, it makes you wonder why she's making our laws. I'm sorry. Uh, anybody who likes yeah. her, I apologize, but oh my goodness. Uh, really? I'm, I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah. This, this is the one. I, and it's not about her youth. I love yeah, that she's getting so. the young people excited. But come on, kids. You're listening. For God's sakes, don't you know what a garbage disposal is? This woman doesn't. Apparently not. So, Basil, we had an inside joke going here while you were gone. (laughs) You weren't on camera. You 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 weren't showing up on camera. So, um, Jan was pulling a. Oh, let's see. Who did the empty chair routine at the convention? Uh, we had um, comments. Oh, he's not dressed yet, and he's not ready for the cam. <laughs> but I couldn't say anything, Basil, because I knew you would not get it. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the, you are the reasons why I don't have friends. 
That's all I'm saying, okay? I'm Don't talk to Jan that way. Yeah, oh, come on. You really? You are right behind her, sitting there with the party flavors, going chat chat. No, no. Yeah, you guys are Ay, ay, ay. Oh. You know, so, you know I, I, I don't hate you, but I just don't like you right now. <laughs> the invisible so long, Greek man. <laughs> how long was this? How long was this going on? The I'll whole show. How... <laughs> the show should be called. Hold on a second. The show should be called the Back of Basil. <laughs> wow. Or the Invisible Greek Man. I like that one. The, the Invisible uh, Greek. Yes, yes, I like that uh, one. He, yeah. He haunts every diner in the United States. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe yeah. you. Um, maybe you were in the bathroom, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I was like, yeah. "Oh my goodness!" Like, oh, Paul God. Bond says the garbage disposal is the stuff coming out of her mouth. Shame, shame. Oh, hey, <laughs> shame. We try not to shame, talk politics shame. here, Paul. We try. <laughs> Paul wants to be. By the way, we got to get Paul Bond on the show. He is my writing partner. He is one of the funniest cats that I know, <laughs> and uh, love him to death. And I promise we're going to get him on the show one day. Um, but we had Stratton pop up, and I'm like, hey, Paul goes, I guess I'm uh, being bumped for Stratton. Uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. what are you going to do? You know, movies that make billions of dollars or Paul Bond? <laughs> okay. So it is. Well, Paul it Bond is. would say Paul Bond. That's yeah, what he of course. Would say. Yes. I would say Paul Bond. Yes. Absolutely. I would say Basil if it was the other way. Yeah, around. of course. <laughs> right. That's what you're supposed to say, right? Yeah, absolutely. So anyway. Hey, you know who else we have to have on? And I know we only have a couple minutes left. But um, for anybody who is on Facebook, um, there is a book called Red Hotel. And I'm holding up the the book. It is Gary Grossman and Ed Fuller wrote this. And they are going to come on the show eventually as soon as I can get them booked. Um, But good book and great guests. We had him on What's the Story? And it was awesome. What was it about? What's the, quickly? What's it the is book about? well, it's you know Red Hotel, right? It's all about it's a it's a uh, terrorist type, you know, all the the thriller action thriller type um, book. So yeah, I well, didn't. I I'll have not read what, through I, I, the I, whole I, thing yet, so I can't give you the whole plot. You and I know we. I love I love authors coming on here. I so know. you know, so I, I'm excited. I, you book them, would you please book them? I know. I know. I'm slow. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, you're not. They're waiting yeah, for me are. to call. <laughs> yeah. Shame on me. Shame, shame, yeah, shame. Now, yeah. am I looking at the am I looking at the right time right now? Is it one twenty two? You got it. Okay. I just you are see right on it cue. Jumped. Yeah. It jumped about four minutes. And I'm like, well, oh, catching you up. I guess. Catching yeah. you up. Right. So it's it's okay. I appreciate that. But um, you know, we're gonna get Paul Bond. We're gonna get a lot of other guests coming on. I, I'm excited about some of the guests that we have uh, coming on right now. But um, next segment coming up, uh, we're gonna have an extremely very talented uh, Stratton Leopold, who is a foodie like me. I, like I have my food, I have my food uh, company. He's got his, and his is uh, fantastic. It's actually wonderful, and you'll learn a little bit about that and his new project that he's involved in. And uh, for all of you who are right now uh, listening. You are listening live to A Pinch of Basil. That's right. You can always catch us on everything. My God, go to basillive.com, B-A-S-I-L-E-L-I-V-E. Go to Basil Fans at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Comment. Hey, you want to send me an email? Send it. Info at basillive.com. That's I-N-F-O at B-A-S-I-L-E. L I V E dot com. And remember, Folks, we got- if, 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 if you're listening on Facebook Live, you get to hear what happens during the commercials. Yes, yes. Yes, you do. Well, listen, <laughs> we got to be right back. We got commercials. Let's see it. Now, back to the show. Oh, we are indeed back with a pinch of basil, everyone's favorite Greek. And don't forget, I am streaming this on Facebook. You can also live, uh, listen on the TuneIn app and or any phone or device. Once you have the app, just search America Matters. If you're on your computer, go to americamatters.us. If you want to comment, go to my Basil Fans page, B-A-S-I-L-E-F-A-N-S page, and on Facebook. And if you have any questions or for our guests, give us a call at 844-790-8255. You can also text Janice. Janice, what is that magical text number? That would be 775-237-2266. So text us any questions you have. 
Uh, indeed. And folks, it is uh, it is a great honor uh, here on A Pinch of Basil to uh, bring on our, our next guest. Uh, I'm just going to read a small, um, uh, just a small little thing here because I think it's important. Um, Stratton Leopold has been in the film business for more than 35 years, producing major uh, major motion pictures, large budget motion pictures. He's nearly nearly 60 films to his credit and television credits to his name for roles ranging from executive producer, producer, casting director, and actor. Um, and, and I got to be honest with you, he's a very close friend of mine. I've met him, I want to say, about five years ago. And um, Stratton Leopold, welcome to the Pinch of Basil. It is a pleasure to be here, Basil. Uh, Stratton, I, I, I got to let people know yeah. that you are probably one of the most down-to-earth people for a person in your position and uh, who has dealt with many phenomenal stars. Um, and you are one of the most pleasant. You, know, you always think about a producer being this crazy, whacked-out guy. You are so calm and collect. Uh, I mean, I've, you know, I, I, I'm in awe of you. You and I work together on a small little project that we try to get on for television uh, you were wonderful there. When everyone was going crazy, I was pretty calm. You were pretty calm. And I said, all right, let's go ahead and do this. And you were fantastic. How's your family? How's everyone doing? Stratton? Everyone's wonderful. Everyone's great. And, and, and yours as well? Everyone's fine. And, Good. you know, Stratton, I, I got to ask you a couple of questions yeah. because, you know, first of all, let's go through some of these these wonderful movies. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, I'm a big fan of... Well, as you know, anything to do with Tom Clancy, you know, to me is is a great book. And you took the sum of all fears and you created that masterpiece. I love that movie. How was it working uh, on that film with the stars that you had? It was it was a it was a very good experience. Actually, my favorite person well, among my favorite people of all time is Morgan Freeman. And pretty calm and collect. Yeah, just a really down to earth, wonderful person. And Jamie Cromwell, Jamie James Cromwell, Jamie I had known from before, and also much the same. Just a very calm, nice, nice, nice person. You know, it gets into the life is too short category to start screaming and yelling and do all of that. So, sure. I mean, at the end of the day, we're creating a piece of of entertainment. So, enjoy the ride. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And of course, you did Mission Impossible Three. Uh, producing that, um, how is it working with with Cruz? I, I mean, I heard he does all of his stunts. He does. Uh, is he pretty... uh, it's frightening because he does them all. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean he the, the the adrenaline. I think the 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 jump off the building. We did it. We did it in pieces. He did a jump eleven times. I think it's just God. an amazing adrenaline rush for him. Probably the most yeah. frightening thing at the very end of that sequence. Uh, where he falls into the street. We shot that that piece by itself. Where in in, in the movie you'll see there's a semi coming at him that's jackknifed, and it goes over him. Well, we we rehearsed it, it as like two in the morning on a Friday on a Friday night, and we rehearsed it with the stuntman. The 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 rig is designed to jackknife, but it's still a semi. So mm-hmm. it comes time to shoot, and I say, okay, let's let's get the stuntman ready. And Tom says, I'm doing it. And I said, Tom, it, it's a semi. He said, I know it. I can do it. I said, Tom, it, 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 if he blows a tire, you, I, I'm doing it. He's also one of the producers of the movie. So my my career is, is, I'm, 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 is flashing before my eyes. I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know, this is it. We're going to kill Tom Cruise, and my career is, his career, both careers are over. <laughs> But, sure. But, if it were he, me, it wouldn't be that that bad, you know. No, let Basil do it. Save the stuntman. <laughs> let Basil go underneath the semi. That's fine. It's okay. Oh my God! Of all the, I mean, I'm sure there is a plethora of actors that you actually have worked with that you love. But I mean, Morgan Freeman, you, Morgan, you speak very, very fondly of. Um, who, who else have you really enjoyed working with? I enjoy, as I mentioned. Uma Thurman, I enjoy it. She's she's great. I've known her since she was seventeen when we when we did Munchausen. Wow. But um, wow. among others, I mean, Jamie Cromwell. Jamie's a friend. He actually, if 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 if, if we're in Savannah, he's here. He stays with us. Just he's a he's a good guy. And mm-hmm. and there are a lot of really really good people in, in the industry. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, everyone thinks they're all these stuck up individuals and they're, they're, you know, they have this air about them that walk through, but a lot of them are very, very humble, yeah. wonderful people. And I think that's fantastic. Janice, I don't want to take any questions. If you have a question, Janice, I want I to jump, jump in. I will jump in. I will. Okay. You go right ahead. Um, what are some, what's probably uh, your top three films that you've made that you really just loved? As far as films, um, I didn't produce the movie. The second picture I worked on was a movie called Wise Blood, which is a Flannery O'Connor novel. And I was learning. And the interesting part about it, it was directed by a man named John Huston. Oh, wow. And the stories that we heard of old Hollywood, oh, my God, about Humphrey Bogart, African Queen, and things he had done back then, that was school for me. It was just an amazing watershed experience. Plus, plus. Mr. Houston was very generous. I, I told him, I said, may I ask you a question, sir? He said, of course. So I did. It was it was like school, because I was pre-med in school, so I had no background. But, mm -hmm. but that picture was, was just an amazing event for me. Hey, how producer, old was he back then, Stratton? He was probably close to 80. He was uh, only on the oxygen part of the time. Um, wow. his, his AD producer, a man named Tom Shaw, Tommy had been with him since African Queen. So that, wow. And I mean, just, just that, and I, I was Tommy's assistant, but that amount of experience, that amount of just flat out learning, my goodness, we were all kids running a lot, running around, running here, do this, do that. But it was just an amazing experience. As far as um, later on, I'd say Some of All Fears was, it, it's a good movie, a tough movie to make, but, but it, it was a good movie. Mission Impossible, it was, it was a blast. Plus, with J.J., it was, it, was his, it was his first feature. He's an amazing, amazing creative guy. So that was a wonderful experience with, with him as well. When you find a, when you find a director, um, because that's the whole thing, when you attach a director to an actual film, um, what do you look for? I mean, a lot of these passion, people are passion, newbies. Passion. Passion, passion? Passion for the material. Like the picture I'm putting together now, a movie called Charlie Two Shoes, mm -hmm. when I met with Roland Joffe, he understood it immediately, and he's passionate about it. So, I mean, with that, with that, you're, you're partway there, because the, the driving force with the director is behind it. It's, it's not a job. And, it's, it's passion. And, you know, uh, as far as some of the passionate projects that, you, that you've had, um, one one of the movies that I did not know, believe it or not, as well as I know, you did not know that you did, was the General's Daughter. Yeah. And I actually, I actually liked that movie very, very much because you, you, you took, you know, uh, some great actors, and I was not used to seeing John Travolta in that role playing that that character in that mm -hmm. way, and uh, I really dug that movie a lot. What was it like working with Travolta? He's just, he, John is great. He loves people. He loves food. He, I mean, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Like, if, if John says, okay, let's have, let's have sushi. Wherever you are in the world, here comes the best sushi in the world. He's, it's wonderful. And, and he had a fellow that worked with him, who sadly is no longer with us, um, Peter Evangelatos, who obviously is Greek. Not obviously, but he is. It was. Yeah. And he was like his major domo. I mean, he, he was great as well. But John, John, in fact, I saw him uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, he was shooting something, and we just visited for a little while. He loves people and just fun to be around. And, and a solid great actor as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and in terms of people asking for autographs or photographs, whatever, very, just, just he's great. No problem. The what do you find difficult to do as far as film and uh, all the genres of film, uh, comedy, uh, drama, action, thrillers? Uh, what do you find well, the most difficult to prepare for? I haven't done much comedy. I, that would be difficult, I think, for me, probably. So except except the things that we've done, but um, right. action I've done a lot. So that that's not. I mean, it, action and drama. I love what what the, what what my passions where my passions go now are stories of immutable change in characters and that's that's what I'm after now 
which are not necessarily uh, something that the studios are that interested in to a great degree because it, it's not it, it's it's not big visual effects pictures. These are real stories, and I've been optioning and buying um, just a, a memoirs. So, so that's what drives me well, now. There's you know when you if you're thinking about doing a comedy, and I'm just throwing this out there. There's this great Greek comedian that I know, <laughs> um, <Yeah>. and. He, <laughs> Well, you see, you I never hear rely, that, do you? I know, but I would rely on you a lot because because you know the genre. <laughs> well, uh, let, I I just want to play. Uh, I I just want to play somewhere in the film. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for, Sran. That's all. I just want to like Charlie Two Shoes. How tall is Charlie <laughs> Two Shoes? Is, oh gosh, he's maybe five feet tall. <laughs> I can play him. I know I'm six two, well, but I know, can play him. If we put the camera higher, that makes you look shorter too. <laughs> yeah, that's there it. Done. Oh my God, this is this is genius. This is genius. I, I got to call Roland. <laughs> well, listen. Uh, there's something up with our clock. I, I think we're end of our time. We are, are we end of our time right yes, now? We okay, are. <laughs> we're going to be right back. Good this, call. Uh, we got to do that sponsor thing, and uh, we'll talk to you all in a little bit. We'll be right back. <laughs> Unable to listen to the whole show? A recording of today's program will be available later today. Visit americamatters.us and click on the podcast link. Now, back to the show. Oh, so glad you can join us. You are listening to A Pinch of Basil. This is everyone's favorite Greek, Basil. Of course, my Rosemary and Herb's favorite son. We're here having some fun with Stratton Leopold. Uh, producer extraordinaire. Um, and the other thing that we have, uh, 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 I guess, a, a lot of passion about is football. Um, yes, Stratton, yes. Uh, you know, a, a ref. Uh, you know, Stratton, I'll let you tell people well, I, because you and I can talk football for hours. I, well, I, I ref for 17 years. I, I, it's a passion. I love it. I miss it. I got as high as college ball, which I started up in what was the ECAC, the Big East up there, which we, we had the military schools and the Ivies and you have had Rutgers, and I can't remember a bunch more. And was meet had a couple of meetings with a man named Art McNally, who was supervisor of officials for, for the NFL. And um, I, I, we we did the, the, some of the initial application with them. He wanted a few more years of college football film, a couple of years film on me. But then, in college ball, you accept the schedule at the beginning of the year. I'd accept the schedule, then I'd get a film to do. So it sort of ruined everything for everyone, and that was the end of that, which I, which is unfortunate because I, I love the game, miss the game, and just uh, I wish I was still on the field. And, and you know, the, the funny thing is uh, football is definitely a gladiator sport. Oh, yeah. And there's something about uh, you and I both love that, that crunch where there's something about it. That, pop, and even yeah. uh, my friends from college and high school, whenever, you know, going back to the day when we played and stuff like that. Yeah. And, yeah, we have the sore pains and everything. But when you feel it, the smells, the taste, the, yeah. oh, the, yeah. the you know, everything, you just can't get it out of your system. I know. It is I know. inside. And, you know, there's a lot of, of, of dismay about football these days. It is a violent sport. always has been. Mm. So. There's a reason why girls don't play it. I'm not putting ladies down. Uh oh, I'm just you're oh. gonna get I'm some bad stuff now, why, buddy. Uh, <laughs> there's you're a reason why the chicks I'm don't play I'm just looking football. out the window here. It's a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it might rain a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's, there's, there's a cat or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then not only do you have that as your passion, besides, of course, the, the wonderful movies that you produce. But uh, you and I have another passion in common, food. And That's I'm true. a foodie. You're a foodie. Yeah. And uh, tell, tell us about your great passion that you have. Well, my family started in the ice cream manufacturing business in Savannah uh, 100 years ago. And wow. we're celebrating our centennial starting this August. We'll, we'll be going on for an entire year. We'll, we'll, we'll party down for a little bit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's just it's it's uh, all natural. It's really rich, wonderful cream. No chemicals, none of that stuff in it. It's just good. It's, it's good ice cream. It's, it's like it's supposed it's, to taste. It's, I mean, we, it's we don't more have than good. All, what's that? 
it's it's more than good. Stratton, well, well, I want I, I, I want to try some of the banana. It says it's made with real bananas. So. It's made with with real bananas. Yeah, I want to I mean, try just, that. Just, just let them ripen and make ice cream. <laughs> Who knew that you needed real bananas to make banana ice I know cream? It. This I is know an it. amazing thing to me, to be quite honest with you. Stop the presses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to close cream. you oh my down. God. <laughs> they're going to close you down for having natural products. I in know your it. Ice cream. I know it. <laughs> so I, I, I have to. You. So I How have to ask. We've chemicals. got what? we've got rum raisins. So this is really mm. soaked in rum. Yeah, it really Ooh. is. Myers rum. I oh. shouldn't. I guess, well, whatever. I said it now. Oh, you said it now. Now you're yeah. really in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> when I first when I first introduced myself to Stratton. Uh, I gave him a call. We emailed each other. Yeah. And when I got his email address, I'm like, what the hell has he got ice cream in his email? What? That's not. He's a producer, for God's sakes. <laughs> and then one thing led to another, and we started talking. And after we started talking, he goes, you know, why don't you come down? I yeah. said, all right. And it's about a five-hour drive. And I told my wife, hey, I'm taking a ride. I'll see you later. And I went down all the way to Savannah, Georgia, to perhaps the greatest ice cream shop I've ever been to. And there I am a freak for butter pecan. And it was perhaps <laughs> the greatest butter pecan I've ever had. And we introduced, I gave him some of my seasonings. He gave me a butter pecan sundae. We've been in love ever since. It's it's yep. a it's a wonderful relationship. <laughs> it is. And, and and don't charge. I mean, your seasonings we we use they're fantastic. So I mean, it's it's. Thank you. You do a wonderful thing there. Uh, thank you. But I'll tell you what. This ice cream, the shop. What I love about the shop, it's very quaint. But you go in there and you have a, a, these photographs with all of these stars. That you have actually fed your ice cream to, and 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 they're all licking their, their you know their, their their ice cream cones are eating ice cream, and I'm sitting there laughing. I'm like, how the hell did you wind up getting this? And he ships the ice cream to wherever they're at around the world. Yeah. So you better bring me some butter pecan and whatever. Whatever Janice wants, you're gonna to have to send that to Reno. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, when we finish, we'll, we'll, we'll get the addresses for sure. Absolutely. I Folks, can't wait. You I, even have a vegan collection. That's we, amazing. We started that a, a yeah. while back. My and, nephew would love that. Well, well, it's actually with coconut cream, and it's pretty good. I mean, huh. it's it's good stuff. Yeah, we, not my we, deal, but you know, I know a lot we, of people. We did it when 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 Cromwell, when Jamie's down here, he's he's vegan, so we we make a little mm -hmm. bit or a sorbet or something. So we just got into it, and it is doing well. Hmm. Well, it's the the latest craze, right? Well, I, I just read the other day that, that Drew Brees is non-dairy, and he likes things made with coconut milk. So oh. coconut, but we use coconut cream, so I have to get get some down to New Orleans now. There you go. Absolutely. Good, good Purdue boy, by the way. I just want to throw yep. that out true, there. True, true. <laughs> anyway, I, I think that, you know, the one thing that amazes me, he, you know, not only do you talk the talk, you walk the walk. You actually are behind the counter as well as running all over the place here, <laughs> checking that, making sure quality control is there, tasting this, making sure the customers are taken care of. I love that. And I love a hands-on person. Well, it just shows that you care that much. You, I mean, it's, you, you, you do care. And it's, a, it's people get happy when they have ice cream. So you like to see them happy, and you like to ask them where they're from and be involved with them. It's, it's, it's great. It's fun. How can it you not fun. be happy when you have ice cream, right? True. <laughs> yeah, well, plus, you know, it's, it's, it, well, it's so funny because I have a lot of film things in there. I, I have one sheets from the films I've done. I have some props. I have a camera. Um, I, I bugged Panavision for uh, years. I, guys, I rent from you all. Give me a camera. Give me one of the <laughs> PSRs that you don't use anymore. Larry Hazelwood, God bless him, Larry finally said, well, we can lend you one. We can't give it to you. I said, okay. <laughs> so, that, so they loaned me one, and it's in there. It's a PSR, and it's, it's, it's great. I mean, people look at it, and it's, it's 140 pounds of camera. And I'll tell them cameras now are as big as your hand. So if you yeah. want, if you want to see, if you don't mind, I'm going to just share your website. If you want to see sure. some of the pictures, it's leopoldsicecream.com. So that's L-E-O 
P-O-L-D-S-IceCream.com. And there's pictures on there. You can order. And no, we didn't get paid for this segment. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> but we, no, we, did we love the ice cream. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> and if you're ever vacationing in Savannah, Georgia, which is a beautiful city to go to, uh, you stop by Leopold's Ice Cream. Again, it is worth the trip. I traveled five hours. I really wanted to meet Stratton. But then I wound up going ahead, and then I see the ice cream, and, and, and then I tasted the ice cream. And Stratton goes, you want to take some with you? So what the hell am I going to do with it? How am I going to take ah. it home? I'm five hours away, for God's sake. Right, you, know, right. so, <laughs> you know, so I was kind of laughing about that. But I love how you ship your ice cream all yeah. over the world. And I, I think I oh, saw Tom no. Cruise eating your ice cream. I saw every actor A to Z that you've ever worked with uh, with your ice cream. And I just love that you had that kind of passion to take that. Uh, well, Sarah on Facebook that. says that rum and raisin was banned in England. Can you believe that? You yeah. know, a, a lot of our British guests, that's one thing that they yeah. always order. Yeah, yeah that's probably why. Yeah. yeah. That's probably why. They can't get it at home now. Well, we can ship to London. <laughs> there Absolutely. You go. Oh, yes, awesome. we can. <laughs> yeah, dry ice, anything is possible. There you go. Yeah, right. So real quickly, Stratton, I yeah. know that um, your next project that you're working on right now is Charlie Two Shoes. And Correct. I only have about another minute to, uh, to go real quick. Is there anything we need to know? Because I love the idea of this film, and this is a right at what it was right after, immediately after the Second World War, was it not? It started in 1945, right after the war. A group of Marines were sent to China having, have, after fighting their way through the Pacific for two reasons. There were tons of Japanese troops who would not surrender to the, to the Chinese. They repa repatriated them, and Mao Zedong was fighting for the country anyway. There was an 11-year-old boy. They had not seen many Americans. They called him Charlie. They couldn't pronounce his name. And the bond that formed then between the Marines and this 11-year-old, and the Marines were kids themselves. Many of them lied about their age just to get in the fight. Um, that, that bond continues till t today. It's a mm. story of unrelenting loyalty and friendship that takes and place. That's in a North, that and and that's a movie that needs to be made, Stratton. Yes. And that's all there is to it. Well, you know, I've, I've, I've gotten to know President Hey, Carter. guys, we got a hard break here. I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay. We, we really do. Stratton, seconds. thank you so much for <laughs> being you on all. the show. Thank you It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Stratton. We'll talk to you. Stratton Leopold, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, listen to us every Tuesday night, 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're going to hear it all around the world. AmericaMatters.us. Tune in app. Go ahead, find us. Basil fans, I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Thanks for listening. <laughs>